This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea or flying down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Mile High Chronic take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nuts were shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And he's off. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Coffee, turkeys on Thanksgiving. The NFL players getting chased. And that's a... Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot. And that, oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to call off the bench to replace him. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to spot, my friends. Wasn't all. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and... <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. The quarterback didn't like that last play, so he decided to undo it with a time warp dirty trick. I don't trust quarterbacks with that kind of power. First it's plays, what's next? Bribe a ref, then take your money back. Data model, then take your money back. It's a slippery slope, Grim. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Force meets the explodable object. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dog. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and three. Cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip it. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the city. He's got a pop down the blue on his flip flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away again. New kill. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. You know, the comments after last week's game were blowing up on Shitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. Oh. 
second down and ten. Hot one. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his Sleeties this morning. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Three. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Three. When the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. down and eight. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And that's a one sheet man. He's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it was like a monkey trying to... Was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size, because he just walked all over him. Second down and two. Hot, hot one. Eight. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Third down in the sliver. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh, his head just exploded. Third down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and hot, forever. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, nice hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Third down. 
down and five. And then a first down from a great catch. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and seven. <laughs> and with another pick, the QB says his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And they're catching up. Jump, jump, do something. The 20. Great shoestring tackle. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like new every day. Third down and the punter is warming up. another turnover for the defense and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat yeah, boo, baby i'm the greatest no you didn't see that because i'm too fast <laughs> and it's first and ten tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnet if this guy could talk before he died what do you think he'd be saying bricks psycho killer just gonna say what the First and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. It's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he reels that one in for a first. Oh, man! went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grim. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And here comes the extra point attempt. Kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. And that will give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. It's a touchdown! That's his dance? My floor wizard vacuum bot has better moves. I dance with my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make it dinner and buy a perfume, you pervert. Mm, only on a birthday. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw... And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, this is just horrible to watch. He looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him. He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. 
Sometimes you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown! What a great defensive play! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My I don't know why it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shit. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. The quarterback unleashes a spot at this point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he probably even intercepted, though. Oh, what a punch! He's gonna jump over those mines or steer clear of them. The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. Uh, I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
First down and less than eight. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and three. to wonder if the original creators of the Doomsday AI programmed them to dance as a way to mock us as they took over, or if they taught themselves in the irradiated ruins of the old world. <laughs> Either way, enjoy. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not got And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, no, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Booters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good... The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on the roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions. Ow! 
Savage, what is this, 80s wrestling? I'm a house camel and chill him. I am a hell and I'll sell him. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? <laughs> the offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot two. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Hot yes, Brick, he will. Hot, hot. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw, but the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he's off to the races. And the defense is on his heels. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He caught it. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot the ball get the first down and don't die see it's really oh you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten Second down in a very long. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Get him down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's gonna kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite him. First down and six. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Well, the 
little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just foul. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Second down and seven. a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down and the punter is warming up. Oh, bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The Carolina Panzers blitz the opposition until there is no one left. They win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Yo, seriously, now, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.